Hello, friends. I was watching some sports highlights uh, over the last couple days. There's a few incidents that I wanted to just review with you. Uh, one is from uh, Sunday Baseball. Gilberto Celestino uh, from the Minnesota Twins. He had an error in the first inning. A fly ball came in, bounced off his chest. Clearly a ball he should have caught. And, uh, you know, one might think, well, pfft. That his mental game for the rest of the day is going to be shot. That's kind of his first big play of the game, and he blew it. And uh, But lo and behold, in the third inning, there's a, a hard drive hit kind of over over his head, and he, he ran full speed towards the wall, made a leaping catch, and crashed into the wall and held onto the ball to record the out. And then in the next inning, in the fourth inning, um, a liner uh, hit out to him, and he fielded it and threw a laser uh, to home plate, to throw the runner out at home. So these kind of sequence of events for me just brought to light, you know, the, the resilience in uh, Gilberto's state of mind, um, you know, going from making a, a horrible error in the first inning and clearing his mind and being able to continue and play and make some great plays uh, throughout the rest of the game. Uh, you know, I've, I've talked to athletes who don't have that ability to let go of a bad play. They beat themselves up over and over again, and it affects the rest of their play, uh, maybe for the rest of that game, maybe for the rest of the week. They just can't get it out of their head. They keep beating themselves up. They think that being hard on themselves is the pathway to improving, uh, when in fact um, they're just clogging up and jamming up their system even more with more thinking and getting further away from clarity of mind. And then last night I was watching the uh, Toronto Argos uh, play the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in the CFL uh, in the Monday night game. And uh, the Argos had an amazing drive at the end of the, the fourth quarter. I think they got the ball with about two and a half minutes or two minutes to go in the game. They drove down the field uh, and got a touchdown and all they needed was the extra point to tie the game and send it in overtime. And out comes their, uh, their kicker. Earlier in the game, he kicked field goals, one from 52 yards, no problem. Here he is, just the extra point after. I think it's a 20 yard kick. And what's that, what happens? He shanks it to the left and misses the kick, and the Argos lose by one point. And you can just see the look on the kicker's face. Like, he's devastated. He just basically uh, feels like he lost the game for his team, even though it wasn't for the win. It was just to tie and send it to overtime. But what was great is he had teammates come over and pat him on the head and the butt and, uh, you know, kind of help him shrug it off. And then the, this morning I saw some of the highlights and the coach commenting that... Uh, you know, these plays happen in football. And sure, at the time, it looks like that's what lost in the game. But you can go back through the tape of the game and there's uh, interceptions, fumbles, uh, missed coverages, missed assignments, you know, uh, hundreds of plays probably over the course of a game that you could point to um, that are just as culpable for the loss as that kick right at the end. Um, so anyway, I just hope that the kicker has... Uh, the kind of mental resilience uh, that I talked about in the first uh, highlight with the baseball player, that uh, he doesn't let that kick get to him, and he comes back and uh, and does what he can do uh, when he's in a clear mind, which is kick field goals and extra points. Anyway, thanks for listening. Now go unleash your potential. <laughs>